In this video, I'm going to show you guys how you could back up your iPhone over to iCloud. So if you click on settings, you want to go ahead and click on your Apple ID or your name. From here, you're going to go ahead and click iCloud. First, to enable the backup services, you need to go ahead and locate the iCloud backup option. And if your is turned off like this, then you definitely want to go ahead and turn it on. And you get an option to back up your phone now. Now keep in mind that you can only do a iCloud backup using wireless services, so it doesn't work on your data plan. If you want to choose what kind of data or apps gets backed up every time you do a backup, you could click on manage storage and then from manage storage you can go ahead and click where it says backups from here you want to select the device and just wait a few minutes until this information loads and then you click on show all apps so all the apps that you see in the list here and have the switch green would basically mean that all the data will be backed up if we had any type of information available to back up. As you can see, I don't have anything backed up as of today, but I did purchase the 200 gigs storage plan and with a free account, I think you get five gigabytes of storage and that could run out real quick. So I suggest you looking into upgrading, especially if you have a device that has over 128 gigs of memory. If you want to delete and make room for your iCloud storage in the same screen that you see here, you could either delete backups that you've done or you could delete data that you see here as well. Generally, photos will take the most space and I went ahead and disabled photos so that information or the photos don't get uploaded over to iCloud because I already have a different solution for my photos. All right, so basically when you're ready to back up the phone, you click iCloud backup and then you click backup now and it's going to give you a estimated amount of time of how long it's going to take depending on how strong your wireless connection is. And then once that done, if you need to restore your device or get a new phone, as long as you use the same Apple ID, you will be prompted to select a iCloud backup and you could choose the one that you created. So that's basically how you manage your iCloud backup and how you back up the iPhone. If you have any questions, leave your comment below and please subscribe. <music>